Uh, hello guys, today we're going to take a look at the game Smite for the Switch. Uh, this game came out in 2014. It's rated T for Teen. It has 6.6 .6 out of 10 on IMDb with about 300-ish user votes. On the Wikipedia reception page, Metacritic gave the PC version 83 out of 100, the Xbox One 80 out of 100, and the PS4 version 79 out of 100. Destructoid gave the Xbox version 7 out of 10, GameSpot 8 out of 10 gave the game 8 out of 10, IGN gave the game 8.5 out of 10. Nintendo Life gave the game 6.5 out of 10. IGN rated the game 8 out of 10 and wrote that they were delighted with the wide variety of different gods and the detailed models, indicating a new perspective on familiar game design can make everything feel fresh and Smite doesn't stop there. PC Gamer rated the game 86 out of 100, criticizing the low entry barriers for ranked games and emphasized Smite's moderate willingness to provide new players an easy entry into the MOBA, uh, MOBA genre. Um, NZ Gamer reports some AI, IA issues on the PS4 version that made the game less fluid. Um, they praised the mixture of elements in Smite with PvE to create a p pleasant chaos which scores with MMO-like elements. PlayStation Lifestyle describes the free-to-play model from Smite as a fair system without falling into the area of pay-to-win. Champions that can be bought extra fit well into the game balance without being clearly better than others especially since playing for game content is just an additional option. Implementation on the on the various platforms is also highlighted. Games Radar Plus listed in, in their free PS4 in their top free to free PS4 games. The best titles you can download without paying a thing, saying with a current lineup of 93 playable hero deities covering ranged and melee archetypes with separate magical and physical combat types spread over five distinct classes, there's a huge amount of tactical team play to get stuck stuck into. The free-to-play model is pretty damn pleasant too. Digital Trends listed Smite in their top best free-to-play game for 2020, indicating that Smite has been a mainstay in MOBA genre since 2014. It stands out for its third-person presentation, differentiating itself from League, Heroes of the Storm, and Dota 2. Okay. Let's see. I remember. So the game was released in 2014 on computer, 2015 on Xbox One, uh, 2016 on PS4, 2019 on Switch. So it's been a little bit, but let's see how it holds here. Uh, I had a feeling. Yeah, I'm not going through that. Because to be honest, yeah, I don't know how often I'm going to... I don't even know if I'll even like the game. I haven't played it before. Oh my god. You see, I, I know it's legal and I, I get it, but it's like... I'm going to accept it, you know, because I want to play the game. It's, it's kind of... Just, yeah, fence, fine. Just my name. Yeah, create it. Oh, I gotta... Alright, hold on. I gotta add some extra sh fuckery to it. Tutorial, alright. You know, I've been pleasant for surprise with some tutorials I've played lately, so I'm not, like, super... I'm usually not very tutorial-friendly. I usually don't like them because it always feels like... It always feels like they take too long to get through. It never feels fluid enough. You know what I... I mean... The last ones I've played a while back, they were pretty decent. They weren't too bad. And a lot of times, too, tutorials often really, like, slow down the game when you actually play. But, but I feel like, I feel like, um, like the, 
the last one, I forgot what it was, but it had a tutorial. It is tutorials well, okay. In this tutorial, you will control me, the Egyptian leader of fate. Let's begin by practicing navigation. Journey outside of your base to continue. Okay, not too bad. Fantastic. You should now return to the middle of the arena, where your minions are already clashing with the enemy. Each time you slay an enemy or destroy an objective, you gain experience or XP. Gain right, more XP yeah. and you will level up, allowing you to unlock abilities. Alright, this isn't too bad for this character, at least. Oh, why? Spirit Arrow is a line of tactics that can strike multiple enemies within its highlighted area. Use the targeter to help direct you in casting your ability. With the targeter visible, press the button to fire. Oh, there it is. By default, your abilities will be trained automatically for you after this tutorial. Will bound to happen.
There we go. God, some of these games, I mean, I like... Start a match. Okay. God, some of these games, they throw so much at you all at once, it can be a little intimidating. Yeah, North America's fine, you know. Ooh.
All right, we're gonna do one match. Just one regular match, see how we do here. So much of this, you know, they, the tutorial was good, but then you come here and you're just like, you don't know any of this. You know, that's all I want. Zuka Lulu, why not? See how we do. <laughs> I, I do like the variants, though, for a game. For a free-to-play game, there's a lot of diverse stuff here. I think what I noticed about a lot of these games is that that it seems like they leave a lot of, like, the Discovery things to you, which I don't usually mind, but for some reason with these games, I kind of wish they kind of slowed down a little bit. to stay with my group. I think that was my biggest mistake there. I was too eager. I should have followed them. Yeah.
Jeez, they're really killing... I'm missing, like, a ton of stuff, I think, to be honest. Because I feel like there's other shit I could do to cause damage that I'm not doing. I'm seeing all this shit on the screen, and I'm realizing, like, there's certain combos, and the tutorial didn't go over any of that whatsoever. The tutorial was quick and simple, but I feel like I you need to know a hell of a lot more. I feel like we started close, but I'm kind of playing a little... Well, the thing is, I'm like a big guy, you know? I should be up close, but I keep getting up close and I keep getting killed, so maybe I'm more of a long-distance guy? There we go. Kind of getting the hang of it a little bit. I mean, I sacrificed myself a little bit, but I felt like I kind of helped a little bit.
feel like <laughs> feel like knives and the deaths are mine. I feel like this is also one of, it's also a popular thing with games nowadays where if you start playing it from day one, it's a lot easier to learn over time than jumping in out of nowhere. I feel like this is one of those games. How'd they get me so quick? guys I quit during a game but I really don't want to keep like play this forever Slayer. 
Damn it. Yeah. Maybe that's where's over I gotta look for that. What is it you truly desire? Right here, I think. There we go. That's. I mean, it, it's a little bit of a walk, but at least I can avoid, like, dying, kinda.
shit. Got a little too greedy. Tell I, you can tell some guys like they know what they're doing for sure. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those games that take me a while to review. It's just because of the way it is. I just had you just uh, after when you review games for you developed that instinct, I got a feeling this game's gonna take a minute. Surprise! I guess I couldn't didn't know what the scores was, but yeah, we got one. Of, that's cool. I will admit it's it's very hard to avoid the temptation of of like button smashing when you realize that a lot of the buttons you press can lead to a lot of different things. But it it does pay to know what does what though. You definitely want to learn to do that. But yeah, um, that's gonna do it here, guys. Um, thanks, um, Smite for the Switch. I don't mind it. I think it's pretty decent. Um, I, unlike other games, like, that are built like this, I feel like this one, I feel like it's, once you get to hang it, I feel like it's a lot easier to, like, get as you go, as opposed to, like, you know, some other games of that nature, but... It's pretty solid. I think I think for a free to play game, I think it gives you a good, a, little, a good bang for your buck. I mean, again, I I don't think there's an offline mode in this game, which I of course wish there was, but you know what? It's just the way things are now. So, kind of you got to maintain that expectation that these kind of games aren't going to give you that. So, just something to keep in mind for sure. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. In case you want to chat with anyone at the Campy Company, you don't want to use the YouTube comment section, we do have a couple options. First one is we have a Discord channel. You can find a link to that about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a community tab on our channel as well. You can access that anywhere at any time. We also have a Patreon page. The main goal of the page is to raise money for the channel, to give the channel a bigger budget, to do more ambitious things, and also to start making merchandise for the channel as well. And the merchandise itself will be geared toward aspects of the channel that you guys enjoy. So any support we get for that is much appreciated. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos and have a good day.